And she didn't learn anything from last year at all. All that crying. <laughs> oh my god. about to get into the real housewives of potomac i'm here for the drama let's see what they do i am here for the shadiness of wendy dr wendy <laughs> this is going to be very interesting to see how um the husbands interact with each other while the women are there <laughs> because mia's husband doesn't want to go and candace is about to tell chris no it wasn't shady she was being nosy <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. She really was being nosy. Every time Candace tries to cut somebody out, she goes for their physical appearance. How old is she? For real. Giselle? Giselle? You did that? You see what happens when she can't take what she's done to people? Please. She's been rude. Didn't she send out that invite talking about haters are welcome or whatever jazz? Just effing rude. But I mean, I feel like Wendy should have, in the spirit of togetherness, she should have invited everyone. But she did say husband. Giselle and Robin don't have husbands. <laughs> Robin has a fiance and Giselle, I don't know what she got. When the shoe's on the other foot, they all seem to have all these different opinions. Robin's like, she doesn't feel comfortable around, around Wendy. But it's like, you made her feel uncomfortable. Y'all didn't even come to her as a human. And to hey, such and such and such. But y'all get mad when things are thrown your way the same way you like to throw things at people. I'm not mad at that. Wendy needs to stand her ground and make them feel some type of way. That's a good idea. You go on a vacation together. You stay around each other. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like, I like this group. Forget about Robin and Giselle. This group so far is fun. What I don't understand. Why does she always go for... Now, don't get me wrong, when, when you're in a fight or an altercation, whatever you want to call it with someone, there's no rules. But it just seems like even if it's a, a regular verbal exchange, she likes to call people's name out of their name, attack their parents and stuff like that. Like, does she know that she's not perfect? <laughs> and I'm talking about Candace. <laughs> this is going to get really, really, really... Serious. In two seconds. Two seconds. I don't know. Mia's husband is a bit much, but I feel like when you get around friends, you're allowed to be yourself. So, listen. Oh my God. What? Oh, he has to be drunk. Is he drunk? <laughs> Like if Mia doesn't have an issue, just let it go. <laughs> oh my god! I'm trying to be all up in everybody's business. It's like, cause she's like, oh, Chris and I do it in private, but not in public. I mean, private is just as bad as public. That's all I'm saying. Shouldn't happen. Period. I feel like every time, like, what is the problem? So what? She was in the strip club. There are a lot of people that were in the strip club that are not married now, and they probably strip at home. But like, what's the problem? Come on, Escala. Y'all are not friends. <laughs> Get it right. You're not friends. They just. I'm over. I like your big ass feet too. I don't understand what's wrong. What does big feet got to do with low budget? It was low budget. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty sure Candace is missing Giselle and Robin right right about now. <laughs> but uh, Wendy's a little shady. A little bit like yeah she does she does need to grow up and i just don't understand she didn't learn anything from last year at all all that crying and her anxiety and she had to go to therapy she didn't learn shit she she's mad because she she asked her mom if chris got paid all of that for this nah giselle and robin showed up i would have never showed up they crazy they are fake friends Maybe they showed up for the check because if I send a message talking about I don't feel welcome, ain't no way in hell I'm showing up. The hell? This video is going to be short because I don't know what the hell I just watched. <laughs> I'm here for next.
next week though i am here for next week because um the thing the thing the thing is right a lot of you who actually like candace i don't have a problem with her i just have a problem with the fact that she um she doesn't think that she's ever wrong right the problem with candace is that she wants to stay and do whatever she wants sure mia asking her mother was in poor taste Maybe it should not have happened there. Maybe it shouldn't happen in general. That was in poor taste. But the way in which she's going off at her, going in on her mother and all that jazz, and nobody's going to tell me that not one of them called her and told her, hey, don't say those things about Mia because, you know, Mia's mom is XXXXX, okay? You're not telling me that she didn't get a phone call like that. So with that being said, everything that she's doing right now is downright nasty and disgusting. She did it with Ashley, she did it with Monique, and now she's doing it with Mia. Okay, this little girl has been a bully. She's always been a bully and nobody can tell me she's not trying to bully Mia. Mia is a little different, right? She's more open. based on what I see. She's open. She communicates the way she's, however she is, you know? If she sees something and she's asking, she's going to ask her a question. Candace is not used to them questioning her about what she's doing. Maybe talking bad about her behind the back, but not like outright in the open. So I feel like that's the problem. For her to go off on Mia like that, and just call, like keep going at her mom or whatever. I have a problem with that. To me, that just shows me. Because I was cool with Kansas in the first half of the season. But this right here just shows me that this girl didn't learn nothing from her Monique incident. Nothing at all. She just kept going, going, going. It's like you poked the bear. And she's like, yeah, you can always use your words. No problem. But sometimes words hurt. Not sometimes, all the time. They hurt. Like, her mother's a therapist. Her mom didn't teach her this. Like, I'm so over her right now. That, I didn't like that because, like I said, sure, Mia, what, whatever Mia asked, the mom was in poor taste. But Mia said, yo, she was trying to figure out who was in charge. If I rolled up to some, you asked me to be a part of something. And I'm used to a certain type of lifestyle. And I'm used to seeing a certain type of thing. Um, I'm going to ask, yo, who's in charge? Like, who do I speak to? What's going on here? Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, <laughs> why are Giselle and Robin there? Because personally, like I said, if I sent a text message saying that I don't feel welcome, I'm not going to come, blah, blah, blah. I'm not showing up. I don't even care for filming a TV show. I'm not showing up. Are you dumb? You don't feel comfortable around Wendy. You can't feel, you can't be yourself around Wendy yet you're showing up. And then you're going to get mad at the rooms that you have because you showed up late. I mean, they were probably always going to be their rooms. <laughs> and that's shady of Wendy. However, not everybody gets a good room every trip. Like, they can rotate. Like, oh my god, I'm so over them. But, that is it for this video. Um, also, I, listen, I don't know what's going on with um, what's her face's husband, Mia's husband. I don't know. I just feel like he was trying to be around his friends and he's trying to, well, friends they're trying to get to know each other and he just lets down and plus he's like late 60s early 70s th that age range they do whatever they want okay <laughs> and for them to criticize and by them i'm talking about escala and candace to say you know stuff about the marriage no because candace said that her and chris talk like that to each other in private me personally that's a no-go in private or public but Mia knows her husband so why is it your business unless this man is physically abusing her like punching her in the face and all that jazz like abuse I feel like I didn't see anything wrong with I mean I'm lying I saw something wrong with it but I also saw that he was drunk right but I'm not gonna sit here and say well he doesn't love her. I don't know if he loves her. I don't know if she loves him. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm all I'm saying is is that this whole thing, this whole thing was just very unnecessary. And the fact that she keeps going, I keep coming back to Candace because it actually bothers me. She keeps going at Mia's mother, knowing that she cries at a drop of a dime when anyone says anything about her mom paying her rent or owning whatever anything about her mother so for her to go off on mia's mother and her parents 
like I feel like that's an insecurity that she needs to deal with but anyways that is it for this video I'll see you back here for another one I'm here for the drama next week because I'm I'm curious as to why when Chris is telling his wife hey let's go walk away she want to stay there and be combative she didn't learn not one thing from last year goodbye